good morning we are now on our fifth day yeah i think it's the fifth one we are going on a hike to one of the biggest waterfalls in iceland according to my friend here and google second, <laughs> second biggest one apparently it should be around three or four hours hiking going and return we did some kilometers walking already but this is like the first real hike we will do we did the other one in the other waterfall but it was like four kilometers to go and return here i think it probably is more we will see the weather is not that great it's a little bit cloudy and now it's starting to get a little bit more cloudy to where we're going it looks like but at least it's not too hot to walk so it should be fine as long as it doesn't rain much Probably the hike is gonna be up one of those mountains. Wish me luck. Wish us luck. We're probably gonna have to wash the van. From what I see in other people's vans, they are all brown. They used to be white. We just started the hike, we don't know exactly how long it is, not in kilometers, not in time, we don't know anything, so we're just following other people, hopefully we can do it in like four hours, maximum five would be nice. É para o túnel.
we're gonna have to cross a log over a river. I would say this is the best hike I have ever done but it's also probably the most difficult or at least the most dangerous because this is the path rocks, loose rocks everywhere and if you fall I don't think you're stopping yeah but the views are worth it also, it's always going up, 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 up. If you saw back there, the waterfall, we're going up there. So it's not such a big distance, but it's very, very steep. Short distance to a very high place. Easy peasy. Now very slow. Don't want to miss a foot. Yeah, this is danger. Yeah, we are almost at the top. It's beautiful up here. Really beautiful. Borrei um bocado. Yeah. Eu não, mas foda-se, estás aí no cantinho. Eu parecia que estava quase aqui. Yeah, isso. Não, estou a brincar, não estava. Juro, mãe. Hein? Eu sou um profissional treinado na arte da estupidez. side over there through here like don't know if you can see the people up there
right on the edge of the cliff but that's where the path is so I guess if everyone does it right yeah there's a lot of mosquitoes like really a lot oh my god like hundreds of thousands of them this is the river that goes down to the waterfall which is over there now what you have to do oh, <sighs> the fucking mosquitoes they go in your fucking ears and your eyes under your glasses they're so fucking annoying i don't have bug spray i don't even have sunscreen i'm probably gonna be even more burned than i am already as i was saying before my memory card got full we have to cross this river but there's no bridge even rocks there aren't that many you see these mosquitoes they are everywhere we're trying to see if it's possible to jump over there because there's like literally no way to cross it but we have to cross it and the problem is that I have my backpack and I have my camera and I have everything and these rocks are slippery and I don't want to ruin my camera let's see the verdict doable it's doable he wants to jump it uh, for me I don't think I would make it it doesn't look like it but it's like more than two meters three meters or more well as you saw he made it this is yours I'm not gonna try that he is a parkour professional I'm not gonna try it, I have a lot of stuff that I don't want to ruin It's too far for me Even though my legs are bigger He has a lot of, uh, how do you call Impulse F***ing mosquitoes Meanwhile, I'm still looking for a place to cross And uh, it's not easy because it's kind of steep But, well, gonna have to do it eventually, so Problem is I don't have any I don't have anything to clean my feet after I'm trying to find a smaller place to cross here even though this is kind of muddy and uh, I have to jump here I'm gonna have to do it oh shit yeah this is pure mud oh this is also mud okay I don't even know where I'm gonna stop and uh, put my shoes off so yeah great idea I would probably try the jump if I didn't have backpack, camera and shit because I can't even like throw it to him because I don't want to risk it uh, falling or breaking look at this, it's like a swamp I feel my feet going yeah, okay, I put my foot inside I think there it should be alright, probably it's like a lot smaller I think but I don't know about the steepness Yeah, okay. A Kia doable. I'm gonna have to put everything in my bag. Actually, even my jacket. This water is probably very, very cold. What can I do, right? You know what, actually? The water is very cold. There's a lot of mosquitoes. There's a lot of f***ing rocks. It hurts my feet. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. Ay, cafundo. Ah. Ah, like Todd Ilmer. Yeah, no, mas para passar para lá, passamos pela ponte. Ah, imagina, agora ver uma ponte. Never again will I go hiking or camping without a fing bug spray. In the cold, there are no mosquitoes. 
Now that it's sunny and hot, the f***ing are all out. Ah! Well, that was fun. Fun hike. Bye. This is the waterfall. We went like all the way around that. Obviously we started on that side, on the bottom. You see where there's like those piles of rocks? Uh, that's one of the ways to go down. And uh, up there, maybe you can see, there's some people going other way where there's also another path. But I think that one is like six kilometers around because this one apparently is a lot more steep, but a lot faster and probably a lot harder. My friend was saying that online, people give up when they arrive to that place there and they just go around because they say it's very hard too. We are gonna take a look at that one and uh, I don't know, if it's too hard, maybe we will go around or maybe we will risk it because we don't want to go to our next stop too late because tomorrow morning we have to uh, take the van back we are going home on Saturday, tomorrow is Friday. We have to give it back Friday morning and then Saturday, uh, Friday to Saturday, we will be in Reykjavik and then uh, we will go to the airport, maybe Friday night or Saturday morning, we don't know yet. Our flight is like around three in the afternoon, so we have time to go in the morning. We are still checking all of the possibilities. This is the, they use this pile of rocks to mark the way and uh, this is the way, like this way, doesn't look that hard to be honest, it's a little steep but maybe a little bit further ahead it will be harder but here it doesn't seem to be that hard, I think it was a lot harder on the other side, going down is a lot more dangerous than going up but I think it's doable. There's a lot of loose rocks, but I don't know, I guess people in the internet like to overreact to everything. They prefer to do like six kilometers more than like a couple of stairs of loose rocks. Yeah, that part wasn't that hard. Here, you can see there's like more people coming down now but on this side the view is not so so cool as in the other side so I'm not gonna film much more because I don't have much battery left I'll just film if there's something out of the ordinary let's say now it's a big field with nice views but it's the same views of going up so yeah see ya and now we're doing a little bit of trail running because the path is very doable and this way we will save some time and it's mostly going down so not that hard well I don't know if you can see but the cars are behind this rock on the bottom okay this part was a little bit more tricky we don't really know the right way now because there are no more landmarks and uh, it says trail closed I, I ran out of batteries when I was doing the hike we ended up getting a little bit off track a little bit lost but we found our way took a shortcut and we found the other path probably we ended up doing the longest one but it was fine, it was not that long and not that hard it was like 10 kilometers total that we did I think maybe like 3 or 4 going up and then 6 or 7 coming down maybe now we are trying to find a place to eat, to cook but it's not easy, it's a lot of wind, there's a lot of mosquitoes outside maybe now it will be less because the weather is getting a little bit worse we are heading in the direction of Reykjavik you can maybe 
see it. It's like on the horizon line there. Maybe you can see some buildings. I think you can even see the church, that famous Reykjavik church. Maybe it's not that one, but at least we can see a lot of buildings from Reykjavik. We are going to a campsite which is after Reykjavik, near the place where we have to deliver the van tomorrow morning. Then we will take a shuttle from the place to the airport, and then from the airport we will take a bus to Reykjavik. And then, we don't know, maybe Saturday morning or, or Friday night, we will go back to the airport and just stay the night there. Probably not sleeping again, but yeah. We found our campsite for the night. It's a little bit windy because it's very close to the sea. I don't want to go outside to film, but this is the park where we are staying. We are inside the van right now. It's a little bit windy, a little bit cold, a little bit of rain. I only opened it to film, but as you can see, it's just like a small, I mean, not small, but not that big field. And there's these white boxes, which are like toilets. They look bad on the outside, but they are not that bad on the inside. And then there's a kind of kitchen which is a house I will try to film it tomorrow it's a house behind behind these vans 